guys and welcome and good evening to everyone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you start, Shiva, we all know Earth. Our amazing special planet home Earth. Well, guess what? She's sick. The human race is so proud about all the discoveries, all the inventions, cars, trains, planes, mobile phones, rockets, but all of these discoveries are killing the earth, little by little, and at the same time, the human race is trying everything to help heal it. Out of 7.674 billion people living on earth, only 5,371,800,000 of them thinks that it is a serious problem. And by it, I mean disruption of biodiversity, contamination of drinking water, water pollution, carbon footprint, consumerism, rainforest, climate change, change and and the environment, food safety, genetic engineering, conservation, conservation and fishing and its effect on marine ecosystems. Um, that must have been hell to your ears. Anyways, I don't know about you, but that's kind of a lot, a lot of issues to us. We thought writing a simple poem can send a strong message to spread awareness, but before we get to that, let me introduce you to our team. This is Shifa Sofia, the leader of this group who is quick to be amused, fierce but friendly. This is Kashi, the one with the bamboo trees as the background. I guess she's a little bit wild, but at least she's not dull. This is Jessie, the head of the creative department and definitely not the writer of the poem. She actually is, but her weirdness told me she didn't. Unquestionably, that's Athira, the supervisor of the group. Well, with her, she can make her people succeed. She can show them the way she's going to pump confidence into her people and you can smell and feel it. And this is Maria, the video editor slash brainstormer who is very into the 80s and wishes she was born 40 years ago. Okie dokie, now we're all set, let's move on to the video. Assalamualaikum and good evening to everyone. We were just discussing about what to do for this video. So, do we even know everything about the day or the program? The program is about ecosystem and we make a poem about it. Green, a word originated from the olden times painting over our grass and fruits like limes comes in main shapes of vibrant also nice to paint on the walls are the love the color can also mean various things the symbol of our wealth the environment or our feelings it's obvious that nature is heavily associated with it a phrase go green that came along with it. Let's keep the green simple. Just reuse, reduce, refuse, repurpose, and recycle. Old clothes turning into rags, and compost made from scraps. Buy needs and not wants, and donate good condition items that you don't want. Mother Nature seeks help from us. So let's join hands and make no fuss. When I say live light, I don't mean filling your house with a bunch of lamps. I mean, live like you're packing for camp. Get the things you only need, but it's also okay to spoil on set sometimes. After all, the only thing we need to be happy is with a dime. Now, I'm not saying everyone needs to go vegan. I'm just saying sometimes we should all just eat a melon. Reducing meat and dairy products will help us a lot. We should all keep some animals until the day we all turn into bots. Take whatever you want from our poem. Be kind. We just hope you take this with an open mind. Reminder, green is not only someone's favorite color, but it's also the color of earth and our dollars. <laughs>